go check out this podcast. This is the episode you need to go listen to right now today. Yeah, <laughs> I was just telling someone, I don't know how I'm going to say some, some of the names of some of these podcasts because they got cuss words in them and I try not to cuss on my channel. Um, I try not to cuss on my channel. So, uh, oh, I could just say it and bleep it out. Hey guys, it's Chelsea and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all some of my favorite podcasts that I love listening to and the episode that you need to go check out first. So let's get into it. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a like and a comment as well. Go ahead and comment some of your favorite podcasts and your favorite episode so that I can go add it to my collection too. Now, let's get into the video. All right, so I do have a list of all of them and a couple of notes about all of them that I want to say. Yes, I typed it because I'm that type of person. Don't judge me. First on the list is the Brittany Daniel podcast. Brittany Daniel is a YouTuber here in the YouTube space, but she also has an amazing podcast. She goes live Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. on her YouTube channel, and that is her podcast. So she posts it to Spotify as well. Brittany's podcast gives advice on life, career, finance, and relationships. So I said this in my Black Girl YouTubers video. Brittany is Brittany's channel like her content is really all about adulting. Like I love everything she talks about. The episode you need to go check out first, my favorite episode, it's called What to Do When You Don't Feel Like It. And she gives you eight steps on how to get through those hard days, those days where you just don't feel like doing anything, where you need to find that motivation or you need inspiration. She gives you eight steps to get through that. One of the steps she shares is to review your goals and why they're important to you. And that is something that I have to do often. And I'm so glad she shared that tip. There are days when I don't feel like filming, when I don't feel like working out, when I don't feel like doing anything, I do have to stop and just go over my goals and why those goals are important to me and why it is important for me to get up and move and take action. So go listen to that podcast. It's called the Brittany Daniel podcast. And the episode is what to do when you don't feel like it. Go check it out. The second one on the list. Now y'all know I try not to cuss on this channel. So I'm going to put a picture of it and it's called Relation. And, <laughs> and it's hosted by Cami Crawford. And she has a guest host every week as well. Cami is from the show Catfish. If you know me, you know I love the show Catfish. And Cami is so down to earth. She's so relatable. She says what everyone in the room is thinking. And her podcast it's just that times 10. I love it, love it, love it. She has a new episode every Friday. And the episode that you should go check out first, my favorite episode, is called Learning How to Give Myself Grace. Learning How to Give Myself Grace. Now, normally, Cami does have a guest speaker with her. But on this episode, it's just her. And she's giving herself, as well as her listeners, a pep talk on just showing yourself a little grace. Y'all, this world can be so crazy and we're just trying to figure it out as each day comes to us. So just show yourself a little bit of grace and go listen to this podcast, y'all. It is so funny. And she gives some um, relationship advice. So uh, some of the listeners write in, you know, what they're going through and she gives relationship advice. I swear there's one question on there. It was my life. It was my life. And when I heard the question and I heard Cammie's answer, I was like, that's exactly it. It was, it was perfect. It was perfect. Go check that one out. It's real. It's raw. It's rugged. I love it. The third one is called Left on Red. It's hosted by best friends Lisa and Luca. Lisa is also here on the YouTube space. I mentioned her in my Black Girl YouTubers as well. So go check that video out if you haven't. On their podcast, they talk about everything pop culture. They share personal stories and they get topics from their Instagram followers. Now they're on a season break right now. They just finished up season one they're preparing to come back for season two so the episode that you should go listen to first one of my favorite episodes it's called racism friends with benefits violence and ghost <laughs> i like this episode because it's serious but it has some funny things in there as well they do start off talking about racism in europe um lisa and luca i believe they live in amsterdam so getting their take and hearing about the racism that goes on in Europe was really interesting. Um, it was eye-opening. I never thought about what racism was like in Europe. So 
it was really uh, intriguing to hear. And then, you know, they kind of switch and they lighten up a little bit. And that's when they start talking about uh, friends with benefits. And Lisa shares a really juicy story about how she had friends with benefits and he had this girlfriend. So great podcast. Love them. They are so silly. I love when they share their personal stories because... <laughs> I'm nosy and it just be so juicy so um if this is just a good entertaining one to listen to it's good because it's it takes place in a different country and they do talk about what goes on around them so it does open you up to you know other cultures as well we got another one with a cuss word in it so once again i'm gonna pop it on the screen posted by cara Lowenthal. Now I'm looking at the paper because I had to like write out how to pronounce her name. The description for this podcast said it is a podcast for high achieving feminist women who struggle with anxiety, self-doubt, and imposter syndrome. I think we all go through a little bit of that. Basically it's a self-help podcast and it teaches you how to like kind of reset your mind so that you're not always thinking against yourself. You'll start to learn how to think in a positive way and think that things are working for you instead of against you. But the one that you should go listen to first is called Selling Yourself on Your Thoughts. This episode was inspired by a book called Sell or Be Sold by Grant Cardone. So in the book, Grant mentions that you have to sell yourself first on how amazing a product is in order to sell it to a consumer. So Cara takes that and applies it to your mindset. You have to sell yourself on your thoughts before it can become a reality. So she talks about how you have to really believe it. You have to really believe in something that doesn't exist in order to see it exist. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? It basically talks about how you have to sell yourself on your goal before it can manifest. You have to sell yourself on why that goal is important to you and why you can achieve it. And then you work towards it. Okay, the next one is a fun one. It's probably, I'm going to go ahead and say it's my favorite on the list. I don't know. It's a tie between this one and the one that's hosted by Cami. So these two are probably my favorite. So this next one is called Sisters Who Kill. Once again, hosted by best friends Mara and Taz, two girls from Atlanta. I love it. I'm from Georgia. So I love hearing them tell stories. It's literally, I love hearing their podcast. By the way, the let me tell you what their podcast is about. Let me read it. I'm gonna read y'all exactly what they do. They research and tell stories of Black women who kill. They discuss the crimes and outcomes and how Black women are treated differently in the justice system than their white counterparts so wonderful podcast it's really like listening to two of your best friends talk about something crazy they heard talk about this really juicy crazy information just spilling all the tea that's exactly what this podcast is i love it love it love it if you are young black and you from atlanta oh my god you're gonna love this podcast i promise you you will love it we have new episodes every friday and the episode you gotta 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 check out i promise y'all if y'all don't listen to nothing else on this list go check out this podcast this is the episode you need to go listen to right now today it's the episode it's called danielle parker danielle parker the story is like your average story, um, like a lover's triangle, no, lover's quarrel. The average story of like your lover's quarrel, but the way, quarrel, am I saying that word right? Lover's quarrel, quarrel. <laughs> Basically, the girl killed her girlfriend. That's what happens. But it's not even the story that's amazing. It's the way Mara and Taz tell it. They have excellent storytelling skills. Go check out that podcast. Please do yourself a favor. The last podcast on this list, I had to mention this one. This podcast has helped me through some really trying times. It's encouraged me. It's motivated me. It's helped me keep God first. It is the Woman Evolve podcast hosted by the one and only Sarah Jakes Roberts. Y'all, she has so much wisdom. She drops so many nuggets. She has so much knowledge that she shares on the Bible and just guiding life in general. Um, her podcast, she talks about trending topics that are going on, I think, in the news. Um, also within pop culture, she she gives her take on it. And then she also gives like a Christian take on it. Um, she has this thing called, um, I think it's called Rescue Eve, where 
there's if there's like a big headline that's going on where somebody done did something scandalous she'll ask the listeners because she goes live as well she'll ask the listeners or the viewers you know should we rescue them should we show them some some grace or are they on their own so i love that part of the episode my favorite episode of the woman evolve is actually a very old one um i think it came out the year of the pandemic and it is called bring your family to work day and i love that episode T.D. Jakes is in it. Cora is in it. Cora is her sister. T.D. Jakes is her dad. Sarita Jakes is in it. That's her mother. Her husband, Torrey Roberts, makes an appearance. Um, I think one of her daughters pops in there. Her brother pops in there. And they all share something that you can take away. So they all, it's like having all these speakers, writers, um, preachers just give you like you know, just, just throwing like little nuggets at you. And like, she's doing the video or she's doing the podcast. It's her and her sister, Cora, but her family just pops in the video because she's at, I believe her family's house. She's at her father's house, I think for Thanksgiving. So I love it. I love the family aspect of it, the family dynamic of it, but there's just also so much wisdom in this episode. Her mom has some great words. Her dad says some funny stuff. Her husband comes in and prays. Definitely go check it out. Check out this podcast, y'all. If you are a Christian, Christian woman, if you've ever heard of Sarah Jax Roberts, you already know that this podcast is amazing. If you haven't, go check it out. Um, so yeah, go check it out. I know you'll love it. So those are all of my favorite podcasts. I am always listening to something on this list. Always. All of these podcasts are encouraging. They're inspirational. They're funny. So definitely something that I recommend you go just pick one just pick one off the list and just give it a try and tell me what you think tell me do you love it or do you hate it and you can be honest so go check it out thank you all so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe most importantly don't forget to pass it along to anyone that you think may need it and I will see you all in the next one I love you guys bye Calling your phone, why you not hitting me back? Please just pick up, don't wanna go tip for tat. Arguing not, versus this, then it's that. Killing my vibe, now I'm writing this rap. This is not another love song, girl, you got me and me sprung on. Love it like it on your pick stick.